Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the stream. I'm gonna be playing more Resident Evil HD Remaster tonight. Uh, sorry there wasn't a stream on Monday. It was my friend's birthday, went to go hang out with him, and had a couple other things going on. I recently got my hair cut and dyed, as maybe you can see. It, you know, I felt like it was about time. Get to that point, going into summer, it was, you know... It was coming. But yeah, hope you've all been having a good week so far. I gotta remember what point in the game we're at here, because uh, we haven't played in about a week now, so... I think we were trying to get the crest for this thing, right? The, uh, the other part... Wait, no, I don't want to save. What? I don't even know why I clicked that. The uh, the other part of the crest that we need to open the uh, the door back in the main hallway. So let's take a look at what we've got on us. We have a fully loaded shotgun. We've got some healing. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that we might need to take with us? Grenade shells might not be a bad idea. And we've got a decent amount of magnum ammo. I think I think maybe we'll take the grenade shells with us. So we can switch those out as we need. Okay. A crude bed. But yeah. So it's my buddy's birthday on Monday. And it's real sad. His cat got run over that day. Because someone was speeding down his uh his street and so you know my heart goes out to him for that because i'm a cat person i mean all animals you know deserve to not be run over but yeah it's real sad okay so clearly Clearly, the stone thing was not in there. Oh, that's me moving. Okay, so maybe... I mean, okay, so we escaped her by, like... running through the uh the underground like mining tunnels right to get here so i mean maybe there is something else we need to look for in the house uh before we leave but i don't believe so Now, there were other rooms back there that we could have used that broken flamethrower on. But we don't have the broken flamethrower anymore, so... Oh, did we go down here? I get. I guess we did, yeah. Alright, let's look at the map. There's still some items we haven't picked up in here. Uh, we ran into Lisa back there in those tunnels, so yeah, maybe maybe we can climb back down those that ladder here and see if we can find anything else down here. Uh, oh, there is a puzzle box. Okay, I I did miss this. Let's examine it. Uh, no, let's not do that. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. So we got the stone ring and a family picture and notes. <clears throat> There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica, administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa, 
administered virus, type B. Plasma lying of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion, positive but delayed fusion. Body modification, observe constant results. Status, continue protective observation. George, action, terminated. November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after the shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. Uh, well, hold on. Discord is doing something here. That was weird. I don't know if you guys saw that. The Discord popped up on screen. Sorry about that. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Mm. So yeah, they, they experimented upon poor little Lisa Trevor. There we go. Alright. So now... Now we can actually go back to the mansion and get in whatever the downstairs part. I'm assuming it's more of a labo laboratory, so. Okay, we got our grenades if we need them. Two types, even. Acid and regular. We got a shotgun, which we're low on ammo for so ideally you know we will find some some shotgun ammo hopefully we're just gonna make our way back to the mansion We killed zombies here, but they may have already turned, and we might have already killed them again, right? If not, well, we don't have to worry about them now. But I think unless new things are going to spawn, I think the, uh... I think the house is pretty clear right now, so... leave any items okay we have a first aid spray we can pick up but i mean i mean i may as well right because we're gonna we're gonna get rid of one inventory spot when we use the emblem on the door so we'll have two again all right no not only well yeah because we got to get this one out of here too there we go so we're gonna put both of those in Maybe we'll find some more, uh, ribbons for, uh, saving. We've only got one right now, so. Alright, so yeah, going through here is going to be the quickest way back. Let's deal with the birds yelling at us again. <clears throat> I 
So I'm not sure how far in. I would say maybe we're like 75%, maybe 80% done with the game. Maybe more. Maybe less. <clears throat> but I mean, I can't imagine that we have too much further to go, you know? So we'll go pop these on here. There we go. Alright, so now we'll descend down the staircase and see what we've got. Oh, okay, there's a typewriter right, right there. That'd be useful. No, oh, there is an item box. Okay. Uh, all right. <clears throat> now, working under the assumption I'm going to get myself killed, right? We should probably go ahead and save, since they did put one right here. And that was a lot of backtracking we'd have to do if not, so... We're just gonna have to, you know, pick up any ink ribbon we find, since we now have none. Alright, more tunnels. note except for the ladder. Oh, it's Barry. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were... Start talking. Shit. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Oh, it's Lisa. She's very angry. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Thanks, Jill. I'm assuming I need to push these off. Yeah, I'm gonna give him his gun back. I, I like Barry. I understand he did what he had to do. Come on. Oh god. Thank you, Barry. Wesker made him do it. That's her dead mom. I'm guessing she probably would survive that. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Yeah. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. I mean, I would kind of like to know why he tried to kill me. Like, if I were Jill, you know? A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. 
The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of Mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, Mommy... When they give me the shots, Mommy's can think straight, but Mommy's shocked and sad because Mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid. Afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and Daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting dis to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that'll be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. Jessica Trevor. Oh, nothing else. Okay. Just the letter. Alright. Yep. Oh, okay. The, the weird elevator. Alright. See if we can find anything over here. And it would appear no. Oh, well. Okay, so I need an item box. That's where the wolf and the eagle things. Why is Discord showing up again? What is this? Please hold. Um. Oh, it's because I got disconnected? No? Alright, sorry, one moment. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, kill... Well, I can't really kill Discord. I can turn off the overlay, right? There we go. It, it hasn't done that for any of the other streams. I wonder if maybe they're having some kind of weird server issues. Okay, nope, I have to go back and... I have to go back and grab the, uh... The emblems now, apparently. Is Barry going to be gone? Oh, he's still here. Okay. So yeah, thankfully they put that item box there. Otherwise, I'd have to backtrack all the way into the mansion. And it's still a decent trip that I'm having to leg it here, but... up one more floor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where did we put the Medal of Wolf and Medal of Eagle? Okay. I mean, I realize, you know, they were trying to hide a research laboratory here, and that's why they've got all the weird puzzle things and whatnot, but... You think after a certain point, it's a little bit overkill, right? I mean... Granted, we're able to solve all the puzzles. But it's because, like, it's a game. But I don't think, like, any normal person who stumbled upon the place is particularly going to care. Or figure out all the ridiculous shit like, oh, pull this book off the shelf. There's a medal hidden in the back cover, you know? And then... 
the eagle. Okay. The statue really doesn't like, look like an eagle from this side, though. Crusty cutscene right there. And, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, like, all of this stuff wouldn't, like, maintain functionality, like, under all that water, you know? Like, it would just soak through all the electronics. And I just got an achievement. Uh, okay, can't go that way. And like, how did they ferry people back and forth to the lab? Did they make them go through all this nonsense? Oh, look. I guess, I guess we're gonna save. Okay, so yeah, we're in the lab now. We're finally here. The music's getting a little, uh, excited. A little more exciting. Right, is that a zombie, or... I oh, guess yeah, just a zombie. Okay, that takes care of him. Where's the other one? He's like still a good ways away. All right, let's try to pop this one's head off to you. Nope, maybe not. He's not dead though. Oop. Actually, maybe he is dead. Okay. Oops, that's a waste of a shotgun shell. The MO disc. So that's going to be a crimson head later that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, we're going to have to come back up here for like... You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and grab the other one. Because let's look at this one. Actually, what is that parasol? That's uh, 1200. Because we've got the other one that we used, uh, that we got from the statue, right? if it makes an, a difference or if we need both of them or if we only need one and it depends on which one we use yeah we'll put the we'll put the herb up let's see where was that other disc let's take a look at it no it, it's also it also says 1200 okay well, we've got two of them for some reason. I am digging the music. It's got... It's got a good vibe. them soon and we're not just carrying them around for no reason. That's a first aid kit and we don't really need that. Alright, let's look at this. Uh... Alright, so I guess we should probably check the side rooms first. Since they, they probably couldn't lead to like another hallway or something. We got an x-ray. David Clark. I 
Gail Holland. Something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Ed Fisher. Okay. And Alex Beckett. A, B, C, D, E, F. And then it should be Gail Holland, right? Yeah, okay, cool. We, we got it in order without trying. Researcher's letter. <clears throat> June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such desperate paths. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I've set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level two where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I've coded that password into an X-ray picture, a Rowan, Rowan genogram. I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it's my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in the state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank, or yours, thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Aw. All right, we already did that. C, uh, E, L, L, cell. Assuming that's the first like letter of each of those, right? The colon, the esophagus, the liver, and then the lungs. I assume that's what it means. Locked. So we got to go back this way now. Okay, what do we got? At least one door up ahead that is open. Oh, we got one more that we got to deal with here. Is he going to come around the corner?
Well, I don't see him, so whatever. We'll go through the door. Oh, Magnum ammo. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna take it. Hmm. V Act. Researchers note. <clears throat> There's now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Allegedly, or already, four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze it and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. That was that one that we killed that we needed the death masks for. Oh, this wonderful home screen keyboard. It was sell. All right, cool. Do I need to do it again? I didn't see what there was to do there, actually. Okay, it's unlocked. A B3, do we need a code for? No, no we don't, okay. All right. Oh, that's not creepy at all. No, I, I want the glowy. Give give me the glowy. There we go. Oh, oh, there there's not a door over there. Okay. Just a fucked up lab. Hear him. There we go. Actually, let's let's bring him back to the other camera. There we go. Come on, close the gap. Now we're talking. can't bite anybody if you don't have a head. Has my... Oh, hold on one second. It looks like... Has the bot gone offline? Hmm. No? Maybe. No, he saw there. Why did his text is just black though? That's weird. Okay. All kind of weird stuff going on today. Uh, I think we killed that guy, right? Yeah. 
So, we got that corner door that I somehow missed we can go into. Wait, was that it right there? No, 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 it's gonna be up ahead on the right, okay. This? Yeah. No, oh, wait, that one's locked too, okay. Hmm. So I guess we gotta go check uh, that other door. I think actually, I think we unlocked one of them there. So yeah, I guess we unlocked that second one on the right. That was what we were doing. I need to find out where we need these discs. We don't have any inventory space. <gasps> oh, shit. I got too close. Oh. Well, that sucks. Um, I was actually trying to... Oh, here we go. Okay, that's one. So we can use the second one now, right? No. Okay, so maybe we can't use that one. What is this? A fax. To Sanitation Division, Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended only for the named addressee. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. Well, good luck there. <clears throat> we expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-Virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. More than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-Virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Virus infection. Second concern. Our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Wow. They were ready for me. Tisk tisk tisk. Right, so that's one MO disc. I can't use the second one. Apparently not. Okay. It looks like a refueling device. Hmm. Okay, so I want those grenades, but I think I probably need the slide filter. I'll, uh, maybe I'll come back for the grenades. Oh, man. I really hope there's an item box nearby.
Hmm. So I'm assuming I can't just like try it again, right? No, I didn't think so. So maybe there's another one of those around here somewhere. Or something I need to do with that uh, explodey fuel thing there. Let's look at our doors. Uh, so the power doors. And there's nothing in there, so. Hmm. So that was the way out. Head back up. Which I don't think we need to go that way. We can double back around and look in here. Maybe there's like another one of those MO disc things I need to find. Try it. Nope. No dice. All right. either one of these has gotten unlocked, right? But apparently there's a dagger over there. Oh, yeah, this got unlocked. Oh, we should probably... I'm, I'm going to go back for that... Uh, that item box. No sense carrying around, around magnum ammo. If I can't use it, but then again... I might need to use it. I've only got two shotgun shells left. I mean, I do have plenty of handgun ammo. survival knife. Alright, we'll put that away. I guess there's two slots to work with. I think that should be fine. Yeah. We'll save our magnum ammo. Maybe we'll find some more shotgun shells while we're down here. Okay. And if not, we'll just, we'll switch back to the grenade launcher. Is that the other MO disc? Yep. Let's try it again. 1968. No, that's not it. Okay. I need to find out what it is. 
Oh, the slides. Here we go. Alright. Neptune. The Hunter. The Tyrant. Bioorganic Weapon Research Group Development Staff. Oh, look, there's Wesker. 83417. Okay, this is why I've got to do this. Eight four six two. Wesker. What up, Buketsu? Wesker and Chris. No, that was the best part of RE5. Alright, um... Let us see. Is there anything else in this room worth messing with? I just opened a door. That is a laboratory key. Okay, that's going to be useful. All right, let's watch Kenneth's film. Here we go. <clears throat> that's a shaky cam, Ken. Can I use either MO disc here? No. Okay. Let's watch it again. No. Oh, thank you. Uh, we 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 finally found some more shotgun shells. Security protocols. Level 1. Teleport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level 1. Passage to teleport slash entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator slash the elevator stops during emergencies. Level 2. Visual data room for use by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Level 3. Prison Sanitation Division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door slash entry into the room is lended to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researcher. Exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researcher's. What? Oh well, anyway. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals slash use and access of the output terminals is limited. Okay, so that's a little English. Just a bit. Level 4, regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-Virus. Ineligible... Illegible hereafter. Okay. Oh, so I guess I got the key that I need downstairs then. Maybe. We're gonna have to bust out that magnum soon. Okay, yeah, so that was, I'm pretty sure, for like the power room over here.
That's not the door. No, that's not the door I need. Okay. Down here. All right. So it was like nitrogen or whatever it said the fuel, sir, fuel source was we've got to find. It's rusted shut, huh? So yeah, if all goes according to plan, we're going to be continuing our RE5 playthrough tomorrow with uh, Professor Renegade. You guys won't want to miss out on that. Ooh, yeah, shotgun shells. Thank you. All right, that was... Is there a typewriter in here? It sounds like there's a typewriter by the music, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, wait, no, it's on the table. I don't know how I missed that. All right. No, I don't want... No. I probably should have picked up those grenades before I put them back, huh? I don't know, that, that would appear to me like they think I'm going to need some grenades here in a second. So maybe we'll take the grenades back. And like, we'll put the extra shotgun shells up. Everything else in our inventory looks like uh, we're going to need it, so. I guess we'll go to the door headed toward us before we go up the other way. we got to find the other uh, room that we need the ammo discs for. I hear something. Oh, no. Oh, God. Is that a kill? Looks like it. Ah! Jill, run. What are you doing? There we go. Maybe that's all of them. to the face solves his problem. Okay, that's two. Is there another one?
Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're good. We got, we got two grenades left. Oh, two explosives, at least. We still got acid and shotgun, so... self-destruct mechanism. That, that'll be useful later. Okay, it needs whatever that... Oops, oh god, I, I attacked the wrong direction. Let, no, Jill, move! That takes care of them. No, God. Really? Okay. They just don't stop coming. Alright, so that's where we need to go with that. Uh, there are apparently items we still need to pick up in here somewhere. Okay. Somehow completely missed that. Oh, okay. That's that we already unlocked. All right. These bugs are stressing me out. I don't know if they're just going to keep spawning, even if I keep killing them. Maybe. Oh, son of a... I went right in a circle. There we go. At least I don't know how to open doors. Still an item in here I need to pick up, apparently. I bet it's all the way back there, right? Or no, this. Okay, now I've got, uh, that's what I needed, all right. So I've got to take this back. Upstairs, I think that was upstairs. Take that green. 
There we go. So, yeah, down here. I don't know if we can get in there. No, that was the elevator. Okay. Well, there's something in there we're gonna need. Um, that was the door that's rusted shut, and then maybe we can open this door in here too. Which makes sense, that said power, right? I think it had like a power icon on it. Is it another one of those bugs? Still glowing red. Yeah, there's still stuff in here we're gonna need. Okay. No oh, fun. I can't believe that missed. Oh, that's this room, okay. Oh, motherfucker, really? There we go. Near the self-destruct, something needed fuel, I thought. I think that might be the same system. Or maybe I need... Yeah, because that... I think it's like fuel for the whole system. So once we refuel one thing, that'll do like uh, the elevator and everything else. I believe. But maybe we're gonna have to find two, like, fuel cells or whatever. Alright. And that said, I'm still missing an item in here. I wanna see if we can find anything. Uh, the first aid box. Okay. I don't know how to use the first aid box, though. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, God. 
before I could even get my shotgun up, he, he started on me. Okay, he's dead. He came back super quick. Yeah, it was like, uh, I think this door on the right in here is where the thing was. Because it had like the same fuel canister warning. And then the door through there, which we will have to deal with. Oh, we can grab these grenades while we're here now. Wait, was that in here? Yeah, yeah, it was. Right here. Examine the box to open it. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Oh, really? That's what I have to do? So I can't run now. So I gotta, like, walk through the bug area. Well, at least we went ahead and killed... I mean, assuming they don't respawn, we went ahead and killed them. Okay, yeah, I tried to look at the latch last time and that didn't do it. Oh, double green herb. Now it's triple herb. I am trying very hard not to run and blow myself up. Alright, so the power room... okay. Alright, so if we once we go in, go all the way to the right and then go all the way to the left. Alright. So how unstable are most fuel sources? Like are they so unstable that if you carry them and like run that you'll blow up? Because, I mean, I know, like, C4 is not, like, a fuel source, but it's pretty stable, right? And, like, thermite? Again, not a fuel source, but, like, I guess rocket fuel, but it's solid, not liquid. So I, f I feel like it would be less likely to blow up, though, because it's not jiggly in the container. I don't know. And yet, I still went the wrong way. Okay, yeah, whatever, go away. Nitroglycerin will. Right.
Apparently shooting causes it to blow up too. Yeah, like that. redo that bit. <sighs> that is, that is frustrating. Disc inserts version 2. Yep, yep. I, I should have saved. I really should have. We're just gonna like speed run this shit. Fuck the bugs, I think they just keep respawning, so. Wait, no, that was in the red zone. Right, so yeah, do not shoot shotgun. That's where the mistake was. Oh, is this not where we found the uh the thing? Should have saved when you came back through the safe room. A little more ammo this time? Yeah. I mean, I don't have to worry about killing these things this time, at least. They're just gonna try to jump at me and fuck them. I'm fine. They actually don't hit that hard. Because, like, that one hit me in the leg and I'm still at fine. So... Me. Oh, uh, wait, I might have to go down to the end of that thing, though. Yeah, I think this is where we found the, uh, the container. Wait, is this where we have to... Oh, this is where we put the fuel in. I don't even have to go all the way back there. Okay. That was just kind of, you know, that needed to happen. I needed to shoot it. So... Okay, yeah, yeah, we gotta go back through, like, the power room. Because that's, like, where the, uh, the last demo disc was on the other side. And it's more bugs, but, you know, we can avoid most of them.
And yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna save when we get back through this time instead of blowing ourselves up. Sit down. I would have to actually look at the thing so that I can use the passcode. There we go. Alright, that's done. <laughs> Motherfucker! And then we've got a crimson head to deal with. Oh yeah, we need to go pick up that uh, that stuff too. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna come back to life when we come back through. We can't go ahead and trigger him. Was there something in here that we had to get? I feel like we came in here and found something. Oh yeah, it was the first aid, okay. I'm not going to blow myself up this time. Ah. You dead? Yes. He went for the claw attacks instead of the grab. That threw me off. Um... Alright, we're gonna go grab the items. We're not gonna refill the fuel canister. Raccoon herb. Because, yeah, there was the tape for saving and the grenades. But not in this room. Yeah, it was the next one. Okay. Because that's also where the fuel canister thing is. That's good. We dipped that in the bud before we, uh, tried to run out of here with fuel. That could have ended poorly. Is 
So the safe room is down the hallway and straight across. Okay. Then we go back. Then we get the fuel. Then we go. It's actually in the first room. So we actually don't have to walk all, all the way to the back. I thought that's where we needed to go, but I guess not. This is kind of like the, uh, the dumbwaiter bit, I feel like, in, in Silent Hill 2. There's, like, one point where, you, where, like, you have to put all of your items in a dumbwaiter. Or, no, you have to put them in storage to get in the dumbwaiter. And it gets kind of, it gets kind of, kind of scary. Alright. We need that, we need that. Um... Probably wouldn't hurt to have two kinds of uh, shells on us here. Or, uh, yeah, the grenades. We got regular or explosive. No. Regular or incendiary. So we go back, we get this, we go into that first room, and then we don't blow up. I mean, how likely do you think it would be to, uh, to make some nitroglycerin explode in its liquid form if you're, you know, shooting a shotgun? Just like, on your person, you know? Is that very likely? I don't know. I wonder if speedrunners figured out a way to, like, stutter step through here so that you can, like, make it not go off. Like, if you can stutter step, you're, uh, you're running in such a way that it never registers that you're running, you know? thing. All right, let's see if we explode this time. Yep, if you get hit, you explode. Maybe that's why I blew up. I'm a top scientist. I'm top... A, top a scientist? Not a scientist, but I think it gets less stable as it ages. Okay. So maybe we gotta shoot the bug. Maybe that's not... Okay, maybe we got hit and that's why we exploded, not because I shot the shotgun. Like, if so, that's, that's good news. If I can shoot without exploding, I can deal with the bug. <laughs> test fire for science. Oh, we're going to test fire. 
We're gonna test fire right in that bug's stupid face. I mean, if that doesn't work, we might have to go in there and, like, murder some bugs and then come back out. Maybe, like, I have to have the knife and I gotta, like, chop at him. Oh, that would be awful. I would think maybe to use a grenade, but I, I feel like that probably wouldn't work out any better. You know? Alright, here we go. Okay. Shotgun confirmed kills you. Yeah, I guess we gotta go back in and, like, kill those dudes and then go back. But it still feels like they're, like, respawning and shit, though, so... I have an idea, though. Let's try this. Okay, we killed we killed one. The one that's in the way, right? So So maybe we'll be okay now. Switch to a handgun. I mean, we should be all right now though. Cuz we just have to get down that like little walkway where that dude was. And the other one doesn't seem to want to come for us, so Yeah, if we blow up again, we'll we'll try the handgun, but Ugh. I think we'll be okay though. Alright, let's get back here. Like you'd think that they would probably have like a secure delivery mechanism for this stuff, you know? Or perhaps have the refueling station somewhere near the, uh, whatever engine or whatever that uses it, right? I would think so. 
That seems like a way, way too convoluted plan for, you know, a company that has the money for an underground research base under a mansion. With another mansion attached to it. I think they should just make it a random chance whenever you take a step for you to explode personally. That'd be fun. Speaking of uh, exploding, I kind of want to play that game. Uh, what is it? Don't stop talking and no one explodes or something like that? That seems like a lot of fun. All right, Jill, you have to do it this time. Don't die. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We did it! Uh, now fuck exploring, we're gonna go save. Keep talking and no one explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. That sounds like a lot of fun. I've never played it. But I've seen a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna go save, cause that's obnoxious and I don't wanna do that again. Great fun. Excellent. Oh, hey, we can, uh, we'll just go ahead and pick those up, too. Yeah. We'll get our incendiaries. Okay, I assume it's Steam. Is it, like, on Switch or anything, or is it, uh, PC only? It seems like the game was kind of made for streaming, though. You have a highlight of it on your stream? I will have to check that out. I didn't know you had played it. Put it, put it no, don't put away the grenade launcher. There we go. PC only? Okay. Still, though. Wait, 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 wait. Do we need... Do we need to activate the self-destruct mechanism now? Maybe. Hopefully. Wait, no, no, we don't. We don't, because we need to go... We need to go find Chris. That's what we need to do. I know he's in here somewhere. Although, I think there is an elevator thing back here, right? So... Fuck you, bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here. Now we can self-destruct when we feel like it, but we're going to take that elevator first. And we've 
I keep going the wrong way and like going back into that corner. Why would anybody make like a fly monster? Flies are awful. Yeah, so now we should have power to the elevator. Jill. Barry. Cut science. <laughs> Right, it's going up. I don't want to go up. I want to go to the prison. Is this the prison? What is this? I don't know. I got to find Chris. I got to save him. Wesker! Nope. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. <laughs> well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. <laughs> Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I am I'll Umbrella. I'll burn all of them along with this entire <laughs> laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry. <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He you gotta really love Barry. Of Umbrella. <laughs> you and Umbrella took his family. You bastard. Oh. oh oof, that sound effect Umbrella. though. Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. <sighs> oh wait, maybe I needed to go through that triple locked door. Is that where the prison is? Maybe? I'm gonna have to go back down there and find out. Ah, uh, yes, the tyrant. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! No, oh, no! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. <laughs> That's the worst. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. <laughs> no, Barry. You viral cultured freak. Um...
No, oh, damn it, no. That didn't work. Um, should probably heal. Okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's, He's gone. gone. First, let's just get out of here. So, hmm. Well, first I need to go heal. That's readily apparent. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Okay, so, well, once we're out of the cutscene. Alright, yeah, we gotta go heal, and then we can go through there and hopefully release Chris. Also, I want to save. And we're going to get our Magnum. Alright, where are we at? Actually, what? You know what? Fuck it. We'll get the. We'll keep the shotgun too. Why not? Acid shells, uh, yeah, probably, that's probably a good idea, uh, yeah, let me, let me do this first, there we go. Alright, we gotta go find Chris, though. Because if we don't save him, then the future can never happen. make sure we've gone through everywhere and okay, we did all that laboratory basement one yeah I'm pretty sure it's like fuck you bug Activated. 
Okay, here we go. Is that a door? No, okay. Hey, we actually did this right. Jill! Chris, you're okay! Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. Back up. Maybe? I mean, that's what it looks like. There may have been something still down in the, the room we let Chris out of, but yeah, whatever. I don't want to go back down there. Son of a... That, that klaxon's not gonna be annoying at all. RPGs have m made me learn to compulsively save. Klaxon, that's a nice word that I forgot existed, right? I heard it all the time on uh, QI. If you're not familiar with that, it's a British panel show. It's really funny. But that's what they call their, their warning bells. So, right. ooh, what do we have here? Yeah, all right. Shotgun shells it is. But yeah, it's, a, it's just a really nice word. Shells? I can't carry anymore. Uh. All right.
I, I mean, I assume I need to pick that up, so... That's that's quite a puzzle. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, <laughs> you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill. <laughs> ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. I don't well, like Rendezvous at the helicopter. I don't like the old Chris's uh voice actor. I like the modern one. Right, here we go, though. The big finale. Just hanging out on the helipad. Hmm? It's the tyrant. No. Jill. You made it. That's the tyrant. Because it can somehow jump real high. Ooh. So you know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's be like Barry. Oh shit! Acid shells. Oh, you're right, acid shells. But I, I like the magnum, though. That worked. Alpha Team's finest. I'm a member of STARS. Two achievements. They didn't have the budget to, like, show them getting into the helicopter. Just flying away. Yep, that's that's how that's how mansions explode. Continued? 
Jill, you did a fine job. Killed not in the mood to die and like taking candy from a baby for achievements. 30 healing item used, 36 ink ribbons, 362 ammo, and 120 creatures dispatched in 11 hours. I got the closet key, a new costume. Nice. All right. Well, that is going to do it for us tonight. That was the thrilling conclusion to the Resident Evil HD remaster. I hope you've all enjoyed this journey that we went on with Jill Valentine and her buds. Um, so what we're going to do is starting tomorrow. Well, not starting tomorrow, but tomorrow we're going to play... Uh, we're going to continue Resident Evil 5 with Professor Renegade, you know, barring any unforeseen consequences. And so we may end up beating that. Uh, we should be pretty close. If not, uh, we're going to knock that one out. And then we may do some more Cluster Truck or something else like that on Sunday. And then Monday, I think we're going to start Resident Evil 4. Because that's another really good game, really fun single-player campaign. And, yeah, uh, we do have coming out sometime in the near future, I think I want to say June, uh, we're going to have the Sonic Mania Plus DLC coming out, so I'm going to play that. That'll be a lot of fun, too. It's adding two new characters, uh, remixes of the levels, and they're adding the Angel Island Zone, among a few other things. So that'll be fun, you know, kind of getting back into Sonic Mania. Uh, but if you guys got anything you want to see me play, just hit me up and let me know and we can get down on that. Uh, other than that, I might look into some ROMs, uh, some more classic games we can play. We could throw down on the list too. Kind of, like I said earlier, want to try out uh, Keep Talking and No One Explodes, do some, uh, some multiplayer stuff like that. Uh, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go and maybe take a shower, get ready for bed. I do have to be at work early in the morning, uh, but I hope you all have a great night. Thank you for coming and staying and enjoying the game with us, and you have a wonderful night. Bye.